in this tutorial I want to cover the, the formula 1 over f is uh, 1 over do plus 1 over di and um, apply it to lenses. Now it basically works exactly the same way as it does for mirrors and you've got to be aware of the same important things like for example uh, when the focal length is negative, when it's positive and uh, what the signs mean. Um, in addition to this you can also apply the formula m equals um, di over do image distance divided by object distance for magnification and you can apply the formula uh, high over ho which is the the uh, image height divided by the object height for magnification. Um, so these are the three formulas that we're concerned about for uh, lenses or, and mirrors really, concave and convex. Um, we'll start with a concave example. Let's imagine that um, we've got a, um, a concave lens like this and we're told that the object is sitting over here and the focal length is equal to, um, let's make it two centimeters. Okay, so near and far focus of two centimeters. Now we know that um, if we're quickly going to sketch it out and see what would happen, a light ray moving parallel the principal axis is going to diverge, lined up with the the, the uh, near focus, and a light ray that moves towards the, the middle of the lens and the pole will come through like that. And based on this, we should be getting an object, sorry, an image, which is diminished and um, being on the same side as the object, also virtual. Um, so let's use a formula to see if that actually works. Going through what we need, um, f. f is going to be negative 2. It's negative 2 because um, for concave lenses, we always have this virtual focus. So it's negative 2 centimeters. It's really important that you remember the negative sign. Um, if you forget it, you're going to get wrong answers. We also know that the object distance, I didn't give it to you, but let's imagine that it's, um, I don't know, 8 centimeters. And the image distance we're trying to find. So putting numbers into the formula, we know that 1 divided by f is 1 over do plus 1 over di, which means that 1 divided by negative 2 is equal to 1 over 8 plus 1 over di. Again, like last time, probably the easiest thing to do is put it into solver. So we'll do that. Um, negative 1 over 2 is equal to 1 over 8 plus 1 over our unknown, which is our x. And that gives us an answer of negative 1.6. So die is equal to negative 1.6. Right, checking this out in the diagram. Uh, die is less than do, the object distance. Yep, that makes sense. Looking at the diagram, my image is only located, it's located quite close to the lens. And the negative sign tells us that it is a virtual image, which is also what I would have expected. So 1.6 centimeters. Uh, we could then go away and work out the magnification of the image. Uh, we're expecting it to be diminished. di over do. Uh, image distance was negative 1.6 divided by object distance, which is 8. Okay, so. I don't know, you may need to use your calculator for this one, but if you were going to do that, we'd quickly go negative 1.6 divided by 8, and of course you all knew that it was going to be negative 0.2 anyway. Um, so negative 0.2. The negative sign is not very important, just tells us it's virtual, but uh, 0.2 would <clears throat> mean that it was diminished. Again, what we'd expect. Of course, you could also go and work out the the image height or the object height, but that's pretty straightforward. So I'm not going to worry about it too much in this shoot. Next scenario is when we have a concave, uh, sorry, convex, a convex lens. <coughs> so in this one, one here, we've got a convex lens, and we have our object. We have a couple of focal points, near and far. If we do it like this, we're going to see that 
and I've drawn this really, really badly. So I'll try that again. Our rays are going to converge over here. So we're expecting to get a um, a dimin sorry, an um, <clears throat> inverted and a real image as a result of this diagram right here. Um, let's imagine that we're giving some some numbers. We're told that do is ten centimeters and the focal length is equal to two centimeters. And we're trying to find out what die is. Come back to our formula. In this case, our f is positive because for convex lenses, we always have a positive focal point, um, a real focus. So that means that uh, 1 divided by 2, 1 over do, 10 plus 1 over die. Okay, do some rearranging or, or chuck it in the solver. Okay, so um, running into solver here. Just get rid of the old one and 1 over 2 is equal to 1 over 10 plus 1 over x. Alright, 2.5. Die is 2.5. Right, confirmation that that's correct. Well, 2.5 is a positive number which uh, means it's real, and yes, it's real. And um, looking at that, um, okay, my diagram's drawn pretty badly, so the fact that it's uh, looking at the distance relative to dough is probably not so sensible, but if you had have drawn this correctly, it, it would have worked out fine, just that I haven't done things to scale. Um, we could then go and work out magnification in the same way. You do it as by going M is dye divided by dough. <clears throat> And um, you could determine whether it was magnified or diminished. <clears throat> okay. Next scenario is when we have the um, the object closer to the um, the lens than the focal point. So here's our object. Here's our focal points here and here. Very quickly. We know that if a light ray goes parallel, it's going to come through there, through the focal, the, the uh, far focus, and we know that if we send a light ray through the middle, it's going to keep on going. These two light rays do not converge on that side, so we dot them back. And as you can see, we're going to have an image located on the same side of the lens, which means that we're expecting to, to find a virtual image uh, that is magnified and upright. Let's confirm this with our formula. So let's say we're told that that is equal to 2 centimeters, and the focal length this time is equal to uh, 10 centimeters. Right, we know that the um, formula that we want to use is 1 over f is 1 over do plus 1 over di. Putting numbers in, it's a convex lens, so we're happy with the positive number for the focal length is equal to 1 divided by 2 plus 1 divided by die. Alright, we'll stick that into uh, our solver. And we're going to have 1 over 10 is equal to 1 over 2 plus 1 over x. Solve that. Negative 2.5. So die is negative 2.5 centimeters. Right, the negative sign tells us that it is uh, virtual, which is what we expected from the diagram. It's bigger than the focal length, which we also, um, sorry, it's bigger than the object length, which we also expected. And uh, if we then went away and worked at the magnification, we should see that the magnification, actually that should be die, will be greater than 1, which says that it's uh, magnified. Uh, numbers in, die is 2.5, do is 2, okay, and half of 2.5 is 1.25. Okay, so it's 1.25 times bigger, uh, one and a quarter times bigger than the original 
object, which also uh, makes sense based on our diagram. So that's pretty much it. Uh, you'll be expected to use the, the formula there, the formulas for lenses and mirrors. The most important thing is that you use the negative sign for the focal length uh, in the right place when you need to. Remember, for a concave lens, use a negative focal point, focal length I mean, and uh, for a convex uh, mirror, you use a negative focal length. So it's kind of the opposite uh, for both types. Um, and that pretty much covers mirrors and lenses at uh, Level 2 Physics.